Earlier this week, Apple shook up the smartphone market by releasing the new iPhone SE. It comes in at £400, which makes it a £300 price difference between that and the next model up, the iPhone 11. So today, we find out what all the fuss is about and is it any good? Starting with the design, they've gone old school with this one. They bring back the home button, the chunky bezels and even the headphone jack. Compared to the iPhone 11, the screen size however is a lot smaller, coming in at 4.7 inches, but the device itself isn't, so it would fit quite comfortably in the hand. Regarding the camera, this phone only has a single sensor, and it's the same sensor found on the iPhone 8, but it also has a much newer chip so its performance is likely to be the same as the iPhone XR on the camera front. The processor itself was one of the main headlines, since it's the same processor found in the iPhone 11, but for half the price. Looking at benchmark scores, compared to the iPhone XS and the iPhone 11, the iPhone SE sits somewhere in between. Whether this translates to slow performance in daily use is yet to be confirmed, but I don't think it'll make a difference. Battery life is good, but not exactly great. To directly quote DGIT, instead of coasting home with 40%, you might be down to 20. All other iPhones in Apple's range do better. Personally, I am quite thrilled by this phone. It looks to deliver the classic Apple experience without the cost of your firstborn. Yes, the bezels are huge, but I like them. I am bored of notches and punch holes every day, and this retro look brings a lot of style to the table, and I'm excited to see how this performs in real life. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.